Anti-latency has developed what they call the Anti-Latency Tracker, or ALT, that functions as a six-degree positional tracker for mobile VR. Currently, all mobile VR systems only track the rotational axes of the user's head. But this simple and incredibly lightweight system utilizes an individual optical sensor along with infrared markers to add linear position to the mobile VR realm. Now, seeing this on a Gear VR is brilliant on its own, but the optical sensors can also be paired with any mobile VR rig. It can be used for a full six degree of freedom tracking of both their own and third party game controllers. And most impressive of all, the infrared marker system can be infinitely scalable to create a wireless VR world of any size. Did I mention it was multi-user too? All in all, exciting to see the significant jump in the easily accessible mobile VR domain. Just got to try out this cool positional tracking system for your Gear VR. This is called, anti, their company's called Anti-Latency. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct brain? Yep. Okay, my brain says yes, I'm correct. Anti-Latency is their company, and that is probably like the cool the thing I had the most fun playing with at all of E3. It's so cool because it's like, you can run around like a 30 foot area and it's supposed to be like affordable, like 150 bucks. They didn't have any, the hand trackers are still kind of in de development, so it was just tracking their heads. <laughs> it was cool, it was very cool. Um, I would have liked to try the hand trackers, but supposedly they're gonna have Kickstarter coming out this August. So I'm gonna look for them and you know, that was fun. It was also fun because there was no line for it. We just go up and play it right away and we got to go do it again. We got the guy to do some video for us. There it is. Anti-latency. What's your ETA with the hand controllers? So the batteries are inside here? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. You need to use uh, power bank, okay. like, like your telephone. So we work at There's some latency. There's, some, there's more latency. There's virtually no latency. There's more latency than the Vive has, but it was so nice to be able to run around without a cord. It was so nice to not only run around without a cord, but run around with, with my wife without a cord and see each other in virtual space. And we were just like pretending to like play peekaboo behind chairs in the room that had like the major chairs. And it was fun just doing that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 